Both lemons and limes are high in vitamin C, an important antioxidant that helps protect cells from damage. They are some of the most popular citrus fruits in the world. Both lemons and limes, as well as oranges, tangerines, citron and grapefruit belong to the broader category of citrus fruit. Some experts believe that lemons were created as a hybrid of lime and citron, a large thick citrus fruit. However, we don't know for sure as this is one of the many origin theories proposed. Lemons and limes are now grown all over the world, yet lemons, formerly known as citron lemon, are typically grown in moderate climates, while limes or citrus or antifolia grow better in tropical and subtropical regions. These two fruits are well known for their acidic, sour flavor and featured in a variety of culinary applications around the world. They may be used in cooking, food preservation or simply to impart flavor. The essential oils of lemons and limes are often used for cosmetic and medicinal purposes. They are also included in many household cleaning products for their fragrance and antibacterial properties. Let's look at some of the interesting facts related to these two citrusy fruits. If you like this episode, please don't forget to like and share. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, let's get on with the episode now. Interesting facts about lemon and lime. Number 1. A recap of the history of lemon and lime that we covered in the last episode just to give our episode a bit of context here. While the actual origins of lemon is not known, most think it to have originated from northwestern part of India. It was introduced to Italy in around 280 and it has been cultivated in Egypt and Iran since 780. Wild limes probably originated in the Indonesian archipelago or the nearby mainland of Asia. Arabian traders may have taken limes as well as lemons from India to the eastern Mediterranean countries and Africa at around 1000 AD. Limes were introduced to the western Mediterranean countries by returning crusaders in the 12th and 13th centuries. Both lemon and limes were introduced to the Americas during the voyage of Christopher Columbus. He took citrus seeds to the West Indies on his second voyage in 1493 and the trees soon became widely distributed in the West Indies, Mexico and Florida. Number 2 To prevent scurvy during the 19th century, British sailors were issued a daily allowance of citrus such as lemon and later switched to lime. This was made possible by James Lind's experiment. This was kept as a military secret because it gave Britain an advantage over other nations' navies, who were also affected by scurvy. British sailors acquired the nickname Limey because of the usage of limes. Number 3. The biggest issue with limes and trying to sort them out by species is that they are constantly mutating. Different species within the lime category constantly mix with other species, creating more and more unique species of lime. In fact, nearly all limes consumed around the world are actually hybrids of one kind or another. Number 4. In 2013, the total world population of lemons and limes was 15.4 million tons, with India leading production with 2.5 million tons. Number 5. In terms of their macronutrient content, carbs, protein and fat, lemons and limes are essentially identical with limes taking an insignificant lead in carb and calorie content. The diagram that you're seeing right now is a 3.5 ounce or 100 gram serving of either lemon 
lime which provides the following nutrients which are listed in this diagram if you are watching the episode as well as uh, listening and so the lemons provide more vitamin C than limes but both make a significant dietary contribution of this vitamin overall lemons offer a slightly greater quantity of vitamins and minerals uh, including potassium folate and vitamin B6 number 6 during the renaissance period women in high class used lemon to redden their lips naturally Lemon trees were also a sign of status and elites during the Victorian period and were grown in several houses as a sign of prestige. Number 7. According to the Reams biological ionization theory RBTI, the lemon is the only food in the world that is anionic, an ion with a negative charge. All other foods are cationic, the ion having a positive charge this makes it extremely useful to health as it is the interaction between anions and cations that ultimately provides all cell energy number 8 the origin of the word lemon may be middle eastern the word draws from the old french limon then italian limone from the arabic lemon and from the persian limon a generic term for citrus fruit which is a cognate of sanskrit nimbu number 9 the world's heaviest lemon weighed 5.265 kg uh, somewhere around 11 pounds and 9.7 ounces on 8th of january 2003 and was grown by aharon shemol in israel on his farm in Kefar Zetim the lemon circumference was 74 cm 29 inches and 35 cm or 13.7 inches high and it grew with another large lemon number 10 when human skin is exposed to ultraviolet light after contact with lime peel or juice a reaction known as um, let's see if i can pronounce this phytophotodermatitis can occur which can cause darkening of the skin swelling or blistering number 11 to power a flashlight bulb you need 500 wired lemons to conduct electricity don't ask me how or why they found that out but they did The electrolytes which can carry electricity can allow two different metals to react with one another. Common science fair experiment is to build an electrochemical battery with lemon. Apart from the lemon, you need a galvanized nail and a copper penny. Insert the nail in one side of the lemon and the penny in the other. Make sure they don't touch um, inside the lemon. Connect them to a complete circuit and you have the lemon battery. However, to power a flashlight bulb, as they found out, maybe on a very slow lab day, you need 500 wired lemons to conduct that level of electricity. Number 12, a lemon lime cocktail tree has been grafted to produce both fruits on the same lemon plant. It's a great space-saving technique, giving you both in one tree. Number 13 Limes are picked when they are fully grown but still green and unripe if limes are allowed to fully ripen on the tree they actually turn from green to yellow because of this some people believe erroneously that limes are just unripe lemons whereas truth to tell even the lemons that we buy are unripe lemons Number 14 The Limehouse Basin and Docks in London don't take their name from fruit limes but rather from the kilns there in the 1300s that produce quick lime for mortar. Let's see if we can squeeze out another fact to make it 15. Number 15. An ingredient in lemonade, soft drinks and cocktails 
Lemon juice is also used in marinades for fish where it neutralizes amino acids to delay the onset of decay. In meat, the acidic nature acts to partially break down tough collagen fibers and thus tenderize it. A lemon juice is also used as a short-term preservative on those foods that tend to oxidize and turn brown uh, after being sliced, such as apples, bananas and avocados. Known as enzymatic browning, the juice's acidity acts to denature the enzymes that cause the color change. Now to finish it off, actually I have a bonus fact. Something we covered in the last episode. Why lemons float but lime sink? Well, it is all to do with density. Lemon are slightly less dense than water, while limes are slightly denser than water. So lemons float in water while limes sink. Okay, so there you are. The wonders of our citrusy friends, lemon and lime. If you know of any additional facts, please share them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share this episode and also please consider subscribing to the podcast if you haven't already done so. Until next time, take care, be good and thank you so much for listening.